Anthropic might have just released the best AI model in the world. So this new AI model 3.7 Sonnet is not just an upgrade. It's a significant jump for entrepreneurs and business owners. So whether you're looking to build workflows and agents and automations with this new model or just tackle complex challenges, this video will show you how Claude's 3.7 Sonnet can help you achieve your goals faster and more effectively. I'll also show you how you can connect this to N8N. So Claude 3.7 Sonnet is Anthropic's most advanced AI model yet. So this is a hybrid reasoning model that combines quick responses with deep step-by-step -step thinking. So this dual capability makes it perfect for real world business applications. So we first have the dual modes of operations. So we have the standard mode. Now this is fast and efficient for your general tasks. So your day-to-day -day things, your day-to-day -day questions, whatever it may be. Then we have the extended thinking mode, and this enables detailed reasoning for complex workflows, making it ideal for strategic decision making or intricate problem solving. Now let's get into token capacity a little bit. So Claude can generate outputs of up to 128,000 tokens, which makes it pretty much perfect for analyzing data sets, generating comprehensive reports, or just handling any long form content, whatever it may be. Moving on into the evolution of Claude. So Anthropic envisions Claude will evolve over three different stages. So in 2024, it was an assistant helping users just complete tasks faster. This year in 2025, with 3.7 Sonnet, this is a collaborator, you know, capable of taking out entire tasks autonomously and saving hours of time. Now, by 2027, Anthropic predicts that Claude will become a pioneer in which it will be able to solve problems in inventing solutions that even humans have not thought of yet, which is, it's almost a bit hard to fathom what that actually could look like and what it could take shape in. But, you know, nothing has surprised me thus far with all these models and all their capabilities. So really interested to see what that will look like. Now, let's see how Claude 3.7 actually stacks up against other leading models like OpenAI's O1, O3, DeepSeek, all of that. So first off, we have the SWE bench. So this stands for Software Engineering Tasks. And Claude actually scored 62.3 on the SWE bench, Verified, which evaluates real world software engineering tasks like debugging and code generation. Also, with custom scaffolding prompts, this score rises to an impressive 70.3%, which outperforms OpenAI's O1 by over 12%, and DeepSeek's R1, which I know a lot of people don't really use R1 nowadays, but it's worth mentioning, it beat them by 15%. Now, the agentic tool use. So in benchmarks that are evaluating autonomous tool use, like debugging or managing workflows, Claude just dominates. It outperforms OpenAI's O1 by a pretty significant margin. Now within TAU Bench, so this is just reasoning tasks. So on the TAU Bench, which measures logical reasoning and decision making, Claude delivers state of the art results, outperforming OpenAI's O1 by approximately 8%, which is pretty crazy because O1 just was released not too long ago. So in summary, Claude leads in coding and reasoning heavy tasks while remaining pretty competitive in math specific benchmarks. Now let's talk about pricing and features. So with the pricing, Input tokens, these are about $3 per million tokens. Outputs, you know, including thinking tokens. So this is about $15 per million tokens. So while its pricing is higher than some competitors like DeepSeek's R1, the performance gains. So especially in coding and reasoning, it makes it a worthwhile investment for businesses needing high quality outputs and you will see for yourself. And of course, we can't forget about the unique features. So one of this being the integration of both reasoning models into one model. We also have fine-grained control over thinking budgets via API and exceptional coding capabilities with tools like the Claude Code, which is pretty cool myself. I highly recommend you check this out as well. But now I would just like to show you guys how you can actually connect this to N8N and start using it today to start building out any agents, start automating any of your tasks. You know, if you require anything that may be pretty thinking heavy or any reason demanding tasks, then I'm going to show you how you connect this in about five minutes. So we're going to be using Open Router for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this tab. So it's called OpenRouter.ai. What you want to do is just sign up for a free account. As soon as you sign up, you want to go into the top right. And if you go into two keys, you're going to go ahead and create a new key. So I already have mine connected. So what you will do, I'm going to disconnect this really quick. I'm going to find Open Router. I'm going to go into my settings and you'll just paste that API key right in here. 
Now I already have mine connected, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm just going to plop that again. So what we can do now is I already have the model 3.7 Sonnet thinking connected. But if you search Claude, you'll see all these different models. Not to mention, we also have DeepSeek. So if we search DeepSeek, of course, I can't spell right now. So we have R1 in here. We should have O1 if I keep scrolling down. You now it looks like O1 is not released on Open Router just yet. But we should have OpenAI as well, not that we're focusing on it. So it has O1, O1 Mini, O3 Mini, all that stuff. So we'll just focus on 3.7 Sonnet Thinking. But now let's just open up a chat and let's just see how this actually works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste something in. I'll expand this a little bit further. I'm saying we're launching a new product targeting small business owners who want to improve their productivity. The budget is $10,000 for the first month. Suggest an optimized marketing strategy that includes ad platforms, content ideas, and audience targeting. I'm going to paste this in and let's see what the response. Okay, so here's what it came back with. Here's the marketing strategy for small business productivity product. Thank you for sharing details. Here's the target audience profile. So small business owners who manage teams of one to 50 employees. Um, it gave us recommended marketing channels and budget allocation. So it divided up LinkedIn advertising. It spent 2,500 or it recommends 2,500. So Google ads, 2,000. Facebook, Instagram ads, content marketing, email marketing, influencer partnerships. Interesting. Then we have the content ideas. So problem solution content, comparative content, educational, and all that. So we could scroll down a little bit further. We have the success metrics to track. So I mean... I would argue that this is a pretty impressive response. So me, myself, I switched immediately to using Claude 3.7 in terms of using, you know, OpenAI or Perplexity instead. So I would recommend that you at least try out Claude's new model and see for yourself how capable it actually is to, you know, automate any of your tasks or answer any of your questions that you may have, whatever that may be. But yeah, this is essentially how you could connect this to N8N. So from here, you can allow some pretty expansive reasoning capabilities. And, you know, if I wanted to, I could send off emails. I could connect this to my calendar. But yeah, the world is pretty much yours when it comes to determining what you would like to automate and which agents you would like to build out. But in any case, super quick video. I just wanted to show you guys how you can actually connect this to N8N and share some of the recent news about 3.7 Sonnet and all its benchmarks. But in any case, if you guys are interested in seeing more content like this, then drop a like, drop a comment, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.